Right, that's better folks. Well, we're brew now. So, unloaded everything from the van, got it in here. Um, got the welded to set. Got some steel. Gonna finish that end. Make the other side of the door. I, last night I brought some boards up ready to line these walls so we're going to start with that as well and also I've got those other timbers you've just seen my machining up to put the under gunnel trough in, in to carry all the electrics so we're going to get on with that today we'll just have a look So there's my boards, they're 18mm thick, they're going on the walls, so I've got 50mm Celotex, 18mm ply there, and then I'm having a 9mm board on top of it as a finishing board that will be painted. So I've got those, they're all going to go on, we're going to do the cutouts for the portals and the windows as we go along, as we come up to them. And here, I've got a pointy stick, uh, so they put a side on here, that comes up to here, level with that, top of the gunnel, and then an angle on it to go up there. So that's what I'm going to do now, it's simply some box section up, angle it, Nail it to the top and cut some steel foot sides and that'll be it. Job done. So hopefully that's not going to take me long and then I'm going to get on with these sides which will be good, do something different. Right, I'll get all the gear on and we're going to get some steel cut. Right folks. So the first thing I'm doing here I'm simply coming up here to that height with a length of box section and we'll get that in, we'll get get it back to here, pass it on to here, so that's in and then I'll get the angle and we'll cut the top bit, so that's what I'm doing now, I'm get my ear plugs in. Right, so we've got the box there, I'm going to cut it off slightly over length and then we'll be able to get the angle and cut it off and get a weld joint. Right, before I do that, I forgot to take grind off the paint where we're going to be welding. So, swap disc and I'll just grind that off. If we don't, we don't get it as clean as we can, it causes problems for the weld. You don't get a decent weld. Glad I got the airstream. We'll turn it up a bit, get a boost.
Right. Right. So basically that's the first part of this job. And we'll just square it up to this one. Right, so we're parallel with that. So we're going to take that in now. What we on? More banana. Turn it on, you fool. That's better, I can't do it with the uh, head bag on. Nice fresh air yeah, washing over you. So especially it's warming up now. So we need to get that angle here, decide where we're having it. Just got an angle on the top. We'll have an angle on the top so it snugs up a bit. Stick that through the top of the ceiling like I just did. That pad's had it. There's more air on my head I think than that's got. Hard on your own to hold and mark, etc. Have a look, is that somewhat like parallel with that? Damn it. Should be somewhere around. Can hold it and clamp it, we'll be a winner here. Yeah, 70 mil. 70 mil here. We're going to be about right, that the angle. And then the door will slide through here and come here. So that should do it. Right, 
try again. Going a bit that. Up to that scar, I'm still. It's too much, isn't it? That's it there. We'll put that off now. So that's the angle we need. Just gotta line it up with the head one there. Oh. We're gonna get some it to clamp across there so we get the right to it so it's in line. Right, we're ready now. Mount the ceiling where it wants to go. Turn the welder on, and that's it. All the way. Right, that's it, we're tacked in. Need to cut some plate now. And that's it, fill that up. Plate across the top, head, sort of head plate there, and that's it. So I'm going to cut some plate. Right, we're getting on with it. So I've got two plates in there. We're doing a scrappy challenge again, all bits and bobs. Now one long plate up there, and then we'll weld it in. Warm out of there. We've got to get airstream on welding. Right, that's the last bit to go up there. There's a few gaps, but I'm just using bits and bobs up what I've got, and that was sort of that shape. Uh, there's nothing there I could fill all that with welder. But that's the last piece to go up there. But none of this side will ever be seen again because it's going to be a pocket door. This, so it's going to slide across. So. Oh, it's just a matter of filling gap up because yeah. these edges will be lit with timber. So, just get this one on and then um, I've got a bit to cut and that's it. Well them up. Shake that chest. Right, that's that bit on, so I'll get the top bit cut. Right folks, that's it. All the steel's in now. So I'm going to get some weld on it. And that's the job's done then. So the door will go straight across there, overlap this edge. Bobby Dazzler, back at net. Right, we'll get dressed for welding. Hey, <laughs> we'll get there. Right, 
Let's get it welded up. Right, that's that. Thank goodness for that. My arms are dropping off. And it's red hot. <laughs> Thank goodness for the airstream. Right. So, that's the door framing. And uh, just got to make a sliding door. Get some track. We'll make something fit to slide on, we'll have a look. And there'll be another wall in front of that, a wooden one, a uh, timber frame with some wood uh, panel on the front. And then the door will slide across and it'll disappear over that edge. So it'll go yeah, uh, to the outside of that frame. I don't know. When it closes, It'll come to here or something. So, and it'll be a metal plate on the outside. I think I'm going to do a metal frame door with a metal plate on the outside. And then, um, not steel on the inside, but timber on the inside. So, we'll make it up as we go along. So, anyway. Two o'clock, I'm having a cup of, don't know about you, I'm ready for one, and something to eat. So that's it for today, that's that job done. Job done there, which took me all day, apart from an hour. I had an hour next door, just had a, did a little welding repair job on boat next door. And it took me an hour though, and I've not really stopped all day, maybe 20 minutes all day, having a cup or something. So, everything takes longer than you think. Always does, doesn't it? it uh, you know, a couple of hours get that job done, no chance, it's all day, isn't it? You know, never learnt, never learnt after all these years, a lot about that one. But anyway, it's done. That's last sort of welding job I've got to do within here. I think, anyway, oh, I've got to put door inside, but not so much welding there. But anyway, so that's it, door in. Just going to make a sliding door now. Um, have a look for some tackle, see if there's some sliding track. Something suitable, I'll just buy it. If there is, uh, that'd be great, save making it. But if it mean, mean, needs it, I can make some sort of roller track for it. So we'll have a look what's on my kit. So anyway, I'm going home now because. Uh, I feel as tired as three electricians and it's a good day's work done so anyway back tomorrow start lining these walls not metal tomorrow wood get wood dust instead of steel dust <laughs> so, anyway cracking day out there now it's red hot and uh, everybody's uh, sat around having a beer and that so I think that's what I'll do so anyway I'm going now get off home to out